Time is 12.10 on Saturday, 14 May 2016. I'm out at the Rural Tracking Station car park. Going to do a walk up the Australian Alpine walking track through Cotter Rocks and probably camp somewhere around about the Cotter River. I was going to go up to Yayok Gap but since it's a bit late starting, not sure whether I'll get that far. We'll just see how far we can get. Nice sunny day. A bit of frost this morning. The pack was weighing about 20.1 kilos when I left home. Going to try out the Outdoor Connection Ganya 1 tent. I've got the 12mm CCF sleeping mat and the food bag is weighing about 5.1 kilograms. Temperature is 17 degrees Celsius on the MEC thermometer and that's measured in the shade at the picnic table where I had lunch. The time is 13.36 and I'm at the turn off onto the Australian Alps walking track up to Cotter Gap. Little bit of niggling pain in the right ankle on the way up from the trekking station car park. Time is 14.45 and up at Cotter Gap having a cup of coffee and had about six fight a week biscuits. There were two people here, they've just done the overland track not so long ago. I'd seen their name in the register back at the trekking station. They're heading up Bimbury. They're going to camp round Cotter Hut tonight and then do Bimbury tomorrow and then back to the car on Monday. Temperature is about 13 degrees Celsius. Time is 16.03 and the granite peaks have just come into view. Sun's very low, been walking along the track in deep shadow and looking into the sun, hard to see. Arrive at Cotter River at 1700. The other two go off to the hut where there's these uni students apparently staying while I don't cross the river and pitch the tent on the eastern bank. After I pitched the tent, the other two people came back and they're pitching their tent on the western bank. Temperature's about six degrees Celsius at the moment. Just lit the stove at 1727. There's 500 millilitres of water in the pot. Time is 1735 and water's come to boil. So taken the water off for the soup and have now added the bean mixture to the pot and a tiny little bit more water and wait for it to boil again. Then extinguish the stove and put the pot cozy on for about 20 minutes and then repeat until beans are ready. Time is 17.38 and water's come to boil so I've taken it off and putting the pot cosy on and I've just extinguished the stove. Time is 17.56 and the weather station has been just at the edge of the door of the tent. It's reading pressure 901, 64% humidity Temperature 5.0 degrees. Time is about 6 o'clock in the morning now. The wind's picked up. There wasn't any wind yesterday evening, but I think feel the first gusts sort of around midnight and they've uh, strengthened and become more frequent as the morning wore on. Tent is flapping a little bit around the bottom perimeter. And strong gusts can feel the netting push as the tent reacts to the wind. 
such a small tent, very close to the wall, so in the strong gusts you can feel the wall sort of push on you. Temperature around about 1 o'clock, I think it was about 9 degrees Celsius, and now it's measuring 10 degrees Celsius. Last night at 6 o'clock it was about 3 degrees Celsius in the vestibule. Temperature inside the tent is well within the range for the Bango synthetic bag. Kangaroos are feeding outside the tent, not even five metres away from the door. Time is 8.15 and tents now in the sunshine, temperatures 11 degrees Celsius, got the solar panel out in the sun, tried charging the Sony action camera from the solar panel out in the sun, still the light doesn't come on and had it out for about an hour and still at two bars so I don't think it's accepting any charge since I was last here last year someone's put in a bit of work and built a little ford with stepping stones so it can get across the river without even getting feet wet. I went over to see Tina and Ross on the other side of the river. Spoke to them for a little while. They're leaving their tent in place and doing a day trip up Mount Bimbury. And then they'll return back to the rural valley tomorrow. Time's 9.57 and all packed up now. Time's 10.10 a.m. and heading back to Kodiga. It is 11.13 and I've just filled up my water bottles from this little creek. It's near where we camped last year for the Nursery Hill walk I did with the Canberra Bushwalking Club. The sinking I'll cook a meal with the beans at quite a gap so I can calculate how much mefo used for two full days of complete meals. So at quite a gap I'll make one coffee and then the kidney beans half a cup then when I get back to Royal Valley I'll cook another cup of coffee so that'll give me the typical pattern I have over walk on a daily basis so that's porridge and coffee for breakfast then Lunch will be coffee, sometimes not, but we'll do it on this occasion. And then the evening meal will be soup, and then the beans. So on this occasion I would have the coffee instead of the soup, because I don't think there's any more soup. And I will check in the food bag.
Time is 12.07 and I've just arrived at quite a gap. Quite windy up here. Sunshine. Temperature is probably about 14 degrees Celsius. Time is 12.33 and the 500 mils of water in the pot has come to the boil. So I'll take 250 mils of the water for the coffee, leaving the remaining 250 for the bean soup mix. Let's stand in the cosy for 20 minutes and then I'll bring it back to the boil and then further 20 minutes in the cosy, for which time I'll add the rice and then should be ready after one hour. The environment here at Quarter Gap for outdoor cooking is not the best today given the strong wind that's blowing up through the gap. However, the Caldera cone seems to be taking everything in its stride, not being affected by the wind I don't think. It might be a different story with a gas burner because the wind had really blow the flame around on that one. May not even get a good boil with the wind. This is the sort of environment which the caldera cone flourishes in. Beans are still a little bit crunchy so maybe it could have been cooked a little longer. Other than that it was quite nice, didn't have any of the Thai curry sauce as it was all used last night but the rice is giving it a bit of flavour and taking away the blandness of the beans. Time is 13.54 and all packed up and now leaving Cotter Gap to return back to the car park. Should take about an hour and a half, maybe a bit longer. Time is 14.18 and just arrived at Sawpit Creek. Time is 14.45 and just arrived at the Cotter Hut Road. My right ankle, which had been giving me niggling pain all the way up to Cotter Gap and beyond yesterday, has been no problem today. Temperature is about 16 degrees Celsius. The time is 15.55 and back at the Aurora Tracking Station car park. Just why the Sony Action Camera 1000 refused to charge out at the Cotter River still remains a mystery. I only had two micro USB short cables with me and I had not brought the USB power monitor. When I got back to the car I tried charging from the cigarette lighter USB port and using a long micro USB cable the Action Camera did start charging. When I got home, I kept the action camera up to the solar monkey with the USB power monitor and the action camera started charging. So the mere presence of the USB power monitor was all that was required for the action camera to charge from the solar monkey using the two short micro USB cables. The Sony action camera went flat at lunch on the Sunday at Cotter Gap. In all, I took about 2.1 gigabytes of video and about 380 megabytes of time-lapse shots. So 
even though the action camera was four bars at the start of the walk, that's not a lot of data that I collected before the battery went flat. I really missed the capability of being able to recharge the action camera in the field. When I got home, I charged the action camera from the solar monkey and it took about 4.9 watt hour of energy to bring it back to full charge. I charged the Sony action camera from the solar monkey battery and it took 5.49 watt hour of energy to bring the action camera from flat back to full charge.